Hey, so in this video, we're gonna go over how to get your keyboard to start typing numbers again instead of symbols. Uh, so everyone with a keyboard on your laptop or even a regular keyboard knows it's really, really not fun when your keyboard starts typing the wrong symbols when you're just trying to write some numbers or something. So it is pretty frustrating, but it's also a very common issue and we can get it solved pretty easily. So here's a quick rundown of what we're gonna go through. You want to, We're gonna check your shift key. We're gonna check your number light. We're gonna see if the number lock is on. We're gonna turn off your sticky keys, update your keyboard drivers, press alt and spacebar together, call the troubleshooter, or worst case scenario, get a virus scan. So let's start. So first you wanna check your shift key. The shift key is a very important key. You know, it capitalizes your letters and it also gives you your alternative symbols on your numbers. But if it's stuck, that could be why you're only getting your alternative symbols instead of your numbers. So you wanna jiggle it out a couple times, see if it's stuck like that. If it's really stuck, you might wanna clean under it. Worst case scenario with the shift key, you're gonna to have to take it out and remove it and get a new one. But if it's your shift key, that should be problem solved. But if it's not your shift key, it might be your number lockdown. Just like the shift key, number lock is also really a really important key on your keyboard. Uh, it toggles and enables the number keys to assume multiple roles and perform multiple functions. When number lock is in use, you cannot type numbers. You can only type what it's all, like the alternative assigns are. So when the number lock is disabled, you'll be able to type numbers again. So in case the number lock is the culprit, press the number lock key on your keyboard and that should solve the problem really fast. But if it doesn't, there are a couple other options you can use. So first you might want to use your on-screen keyboard. So it's provided by your Windows OS. So you want to hit the Windows key and the R key to get your run dialog box. And then in that you're going to type OSK. And if it has accidentally been opened, the number lock has, it will be highlighted in a different color on your OSK. Using the OSK, turn off your num lock key in the case the num lock is not available on the on-screen keyboard, click options and then activate the number lock for the keyboard. And that just solves your problem. But just in case that doesn't solve your problem, there is another uh, option. You're gonna have to use an external keyboard. No, you're not gonna have to go out and buy a new one, but you will have to borrow one from a friend or a colleague or someone like that to do this. So you wanna plug in your external keyboard into your laptop. Once it's plugged in, any drivers needed should automatically install. After that, check to see if number lock is on. Uh, if it is on, it'll be highlighted on the external keyboard. Press the number lock key on the external keyboard and turn off the num lock. Uh, this will disable the num lock key on both the external keyboard and on your key uh, laptop's keyboard as well. Now you can safely unplug your external keyboard and return it with a thank you. It sounds like a little bit of a daunting task, but it's pretty easy once you get down to it. Uh, next is the sticky issue of sticky keys. They're a great function if you're unable to press and hold several keys at once. It allows a key to be pressed and retain its role in memory until the other combination keys are pressed. The task is only complete when all of the keys of the combination have been pressed in order. Sticky keys can accidentally be enabled if the shift key is pressed five consecutive times. If you want to ensure that sticky keys are not the problem, you want to hit the shift key five consecutive times. If this doesn't work, press the control off shift key. You can press the shift key with this combination as many times as needed. So basically if you have sticky keys on, just hit shift five times or do control alt shift and it should solve your problem. But if it's not sticky keys, you might have to update your keyboard drivers. The driving force behind processing input from keyboard and interpreting commands from the OS is the keyboard drivers. If the drivers are outdated or developed a glitch, it will render the keyboard unstable and can trigger flawed data to be sent by the keyboard. So you can try reinstalling your keyboard drivers. You want to press your Windows key and your R key in the start box to bring up the device manager. Then you want to locate your keyboard drivers, right click on it and select to uninstall. After you uninstall it, restart your computer and it will automatically reinstall the keyboard drivers and hopefully fix the issue. Uh, next, you might want to press Alt plus Space. Spacebar is a really good friend on your computer. Obviously it does spaces, but you can also uh, help you get over your problems with the keyboard such as symbols. So you can use the spacebar with the Alt key to get your, uh, your keyboard to start hitting numbers again instead of symbols. Uh, so you just hold Alt and Space at the same time and that should stop the character from appearing. Uh, next, you might have to call the troubleshooter. Instead of fig figuring this all out on your own, you can lead the troubleshooting to the Windows troubleshooter. Windows provides an option to conduct keyboard troubleshooting using a built-in keyboard troubleshooter. To run the keyboard troubleshooter, try, type troubleshoot into the search box and choose to troubleshoot and then select the keyword. Start executing the troubleshooter and follow the instructions that appear on your screen. And finally, you might need a virus scan. So everyone knows that viruses are really bad for computers, but they can also target your keyboard as well to get your typing uh, typing practices and all like how you usually type down. and uh, 
it's a, probably really advisable in a lot of circumstances that you might want to hit, get a full threat scan of your computer and your keyboard to make sure there's not a virus. Uh, so this is most likely not the issue with your symbols and your numbers problem, but I mean, it's always a good idea to get a virus scan anyway. But this is a really uh, last resort thing. You probably already have virus protection, so you should probably get that in the first place if you are if you are a computer owner, but this probably isn't your keyboard problem, but it could be. So it's always a good idea to check if all these other ones didn't work. So try all these other uh, options first and then maybe get a virus scan. But as I said, you know, it's a pretty last resort thing if you already have uh, virus protection. Uh, so in conclusion, I hope these uh, solutions that I've said can be the answer to your problem. I know it can be really frustrating, but hopefully you got a simple fix to that. So if it happens again, you'll know how to do that. Uh, I think that the main solution will probably be a number lock key. I've made that mistake before, just accidentally hitting it. Since it's a rare key, you know, you don't usually go back to it very often. So I'm willing to bet it's your number lock key. But if not, we did list a lot of other uh, options for you to use. So just try those out. Uh, so hopefully that helped. For more guides and more articles, go check out keyboardkings.com. The link to this article will be linked in the description box below. Uh, thank you for watching.